I think it's a very selfish of uh, Inside Edition. Very selfish of what that they're doing. They're doing. They're going to be doing a report on the 7-Eleven baby, and you're thinking, oh, they did, they're talking about Charles and that. No, they're talking about a completely different baby that was born on 7-Eleven at 7-Eleven, and the baby was seven pounds and 11 ounces. It's so unique and so ironic that this baby gets a special inside edition talk about it. And I tweeted at them and I said, excuse me, why is this baby on inside edition get special treatment and gets to be talked about when Charles Trippy and Allie Trippy from the CTFXC on YouTube had a baby on 7-Eleven also? Is it because their baby was born at 8.58? Is that the reason why you're not talking about it? Because that's bullshit. If you're going to talk about that baby, then you need to talk about Charles and Allie's. If you're not going to talk about their baby, then don't talk about that one. It's not fair. It's not cool. And what may, and, and just because that baby was born at 7 o'clock, 7, 11 p.m., a few hour, an hour before Charles and Allie's, and the baby was 7 pounds, 11 ounces, that baby gets special treatment and gets talked about. But because Charles and Allie's baby was born an hour after that, and and their baby is eight pounds, it's not as a, as of a, 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 a big deal, even though they have a 7-Eleven baby. That's just bullshit. I'm sorry. And congratulations to Charles and Ellie. I didn't make that video yet. I don't know when this will come out, but congratulations to you guys for having a baby. And I feel that baby is going to be daddy's little girl. Because Charles just cannot be without her for one day when he went on tour. And I think that's the cutest thing ever. And they did a thing today on their vlog of who does the baby look like? Allie or Charles? And they showed baby pictures. That baby looks 110% Charles. Everything looks like Charles. Sorry, Allie. I mean, the only thing you got is the nose, I think, for you. But then again, I'm always... I, I usually don't get that kind of stuff right. And I don't usually... I have to, like, in my opinion, to really know what a baby looks like who's, is see other pictures and see the baby grow. Then when the baby actually gets features that you can actually see, you can actually tell who the baby looks like. Because my cousin's baby... We thought at first she looked, well, we thought, oh, she looks exactly like her mother. A little bit. And then as she grew up, now she's three. And as she's getting older and growing, we're like, no, she is a splitting image of her mother. She looks, they look like, that's like her little mini-me because she looks just like her, I can down. So it just, so I could be completely wrong and... She looks like Allie when she gets a little bit older. Who knows? Um, because at first people are like, she looks like the f my cousin's husband. Looks like her daddy. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. So, and then now people see what I see. And, it, yeah, we do side by side and it just makes sense. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to get going. I just wanted to make that clear. How that upset me. And I think the people that threw water on cops, the cops ignored it and just did their job. Isn't that disturbing the peace and, and being mean? And isn't that your job to arrest? I know they're just kids, but they can go to juvenile jail and you should arrest them for that and call their parents because that's not cool. They should not be doing that to cops. Cops are just doing their fucking job. They don't want to arrest people. They don't want to give people tickets. But they have to do their job to make this world safe from us. 
that are not doing anything wrong. It's just like when Fousey from Fousey Tube, who on Dose of Fousey, who's back on YouTube after leaving, and I could go on a big spiel about that, but I'm not going to. He goes, I'm parked in a file zone. I need to hurry up and get my Starbucks iced tea that or iced coffee that I get every single day. So I need to hurry up and get. Dude, you didn't say it, but I hope you got a ticket for that because I've watched uh parking wars they don't care if you're running in there for two seconds or one minute or two minutes or five minutes they don't care you're parked where you're not supposed to be parked you get a ticket and if you didn't get a ticket then you're lucky as fuck and there's that 7-eleven baby that gets to be talked about and charles and ally doesn't get to have their baby be featured even though their baby is just as cool as that baby so, since this baby was born on 7-Eleven at 7-Eleven p.m. and it's 7 pounds 11 ounces, this fucking 7-Eleven gave that baby a bunch of goodies, diapers and clothes and things, and gave that baby, and gave that baby $7,111. So they, they said, well, th that's going to start her college fund. And Charles and Allie gets jack shit from 7-Eleven for having their baby born on 7-Eleven at 8.58? That's bullshit. They should get stuff too for having their baby being born on 7-Eleven. It's not fair that that baby gets stuff and their baby gets nothing for being born on the same fucking day just because their baby wasn't born at 7-Eleven p.m. at, you know, and wasn't 7 pounds, 11 ounces. Baby gets nothing. When the baby should get something. Since it was born on 7-Eleven. That's just bullshit inside. Bullshit. And it is later haters.